Hi, this is Beverly Young-Reed, and I would like to share with you how to check to see if something is done from the oven. First of all, when you bring it out of the oven, you're going to need to have some place to place it. If you don't want to place it directly on your counter, you can use a tray like this and then put it on that. That will keep your counter from being um, destroyed by the heat of the stuff coming out of your oven. The other thing you're going to need is a meat thermometer or a food thermometer. Candy thermometers are completely different. This one is used for meat. And you want to know what temperature the internal part of your meat should be. So this whole project has been meatloaf. And um, so let's check and see what the internal temperature of meatloaf should be. Hey Google, what temperature should meatloaf be? 155 to 160F. Here's a summary from the website. Hey Google, stop. There you go. So these are my little meatloafs. And the reason it looks a little crusty on top is because I put some uh, mozzarella cheese on top. You can wait until they come out to add it. I added it before. So in looking at my thermometer, it says it is 60 degrees. So what I'm going to do is put it in the middle. And I'm going to wait a minute. As it rises, you can see it moving, hopefully, and we will have a temperature. Um, and basically you let it go until it stops moving. So it looks like I'm sitting right at about 145 degrees. So with that, um, not sure if you can see that real well. That's 100, about 145. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw it back in the oven and let it cook a couple more minutes and then I'll be able to bring it out and check and see. You can check multiples of your thing so when I put it in one of my other meatloafs, it easily hits 150 and is still climbing. So I may not have made each of my little pans the same size. In fact, that pan just hit 160. So you want to make sure that your meatloaf or whatever meat you're cooking, check it at different points. If you have different sizes, you may have to cook them at different times. Hopefully you'll find this helpful. If you have any questions or would like to follow any of my other videos, please follow me below. And you can go to my webpage at www.bevyoungread.com. That's B-E-V-Y-O-U-N-G-R-E-E-D.com. There should be all three videos of how I made the tomato sauce, how I read labels to see which one was less sodium, how I created the meatloaf, and now this one, how to check the temperature. I hope that you all have a great and wonderful whatever time of year it is for you, and hopefully my videos are helpful. If you have any questions or would like me to work on something else, please let me know. Thank you and have a great day.